Having good audio in your videos is a must, no matter what kind of content you produce. So you need the tools for post-production when you're mixing or editing your videos. So in this short episode of the studio, we're gonna take a look at the multi-track audio functions in Expert Broadcaster and how you can benefit from them. So enabling multi-track recording is pretty easy. You just go into your recording settings and then enable multi-track recording. And you can also enable multi-track recording for your carbon copies of your stream. So these are basically an exact copy of whatever you stream out. So not quite as high quality as a regular recording, but pretty useful if you don't have the PC to record and stream at the same time. So go into your streaming settings, enable create a copy of your stream, and then enable multi-track recording for that. And then for all your recordings, if you want to see all the tracks, just drop it into your editor of choice. And as long as it supports multi-track audio, you'll see all the different audio tracks. So let's take a look at what some of these tracks are. So let's take a look at some of the primary tracks first. So the first track is the mix track. Now this basically mixes all the audio tracks together. Now this isn't really useful in post-production if you want to do editing of the tracks, but let's say you want a very simple one and done edit. If you have your level set, just use that, delete the rest of the tracks. Now the next one is the microphone track. Now this is basically the microphone device that you set in XSplit. And these are all your recording devices in Windows. So your microphone input, a USB mic, or an audio interface. Now with audio interfaces, it's important to take note that when you plug in a mic into an audio interface and use that as your microphone track, it might take it as a mono signal. So it's either on the left or the right. Now you can correct this in XSplit, but if you're ever editing something and you didn't correct it and you're like, why is it only on the left? That's why. Now the next track is the system soundtrack. So this is basically your playback devices in Windows. So whatever you set to this, usually it's the default track. This basically records all your different PC sounds. So like the music playing or your gameplay audio. Now the next couple tracks are special tracks in XSplit. So the first one is the stream only audio track. Now if you add any source with audio into XSplit, so this could be a capture card or a video or even a website, they default to system sound. So that means you'll hear the sound, you know, in your headphones or whatever your playback device is. But if you set it to stream only, you won't hear it anymore. It'll just go straight to the recording or straight to the stream. Now this is useful when you're editing because say for example, a lot of people use this to use for their web alerts, like their donation alerts and stuff like that because they don't want to hear the sound over and over again. So if you're editing it and you don't want your viewers to hear those donation alerts or if they have like some copyrighted stuff on it, you can basically delete that audio track and you don't have to deal with it anymore. Now the next special audio track is known as the application only audio track. Now this one's really cool because pretty much when you click on an application, like click on your game or click on your music player, this only records the audio of whatever's in focus. So whatever application is active and that you're using, if it's playing audio, it'll record it to that track. So this is really useful for basically separating out gameplay audio. So like you set up all your audio and then you go into your game, this will only record that gameplay audio track. So really cool for let's plays and other stuff. Super useful audio track. So that about does it for multi-track audio, but I do want to say that this is not a band-aid for poor recording technique. Like make sure to use the mixer to check your audio levels because if it clips, you won't be able to save it even in post. If you have more questions about how to get really good microphone audio, I made this helpful video. You can click on the link above and check that one out. And if you have any questions about multi-track audio, make sure to leave them in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to give this video a like and make sure to subscribe for the next time we'll be in the studio.